<laughs> Somebody there? Somebody. Who are you? Don't play innocent with me. You've known all along. Where are you? Follow the cold shiver running down your spine. I'm right here. I don't understand. Did you think it was a coincidence? All these good things happening for you? All for you, Craig. What do you want? To say what you want. To do what you can't. To remove those in your way. The reviewers committee. You're killing them with our skits? We are killing them. We? Remember, you are the brains of this operation. Quiet, conservative, reserved. But me? I'm Deadpool and drag. No one watches you without me. Probably true. I am your greatest creation, bringing you what you've always dreamed of. Subs beyond your wildest dreams. Well, I wouldn't exactly call 1,200 subs. It's just beginning. There's only one who stands in our way. But if we could get him to join us. DT? Yes, D-T. <laughs> hmm. Hello? Yo, hey, uh, D-T. Who? Craig Walker from Half Ass Reviews. Oh yeah, I think I've seen your videos. You're the guy that does the uh, makeup tutorials. Yeah. <laughs> How'd you get my number? Um, like stalking you for three months. But uh, hey, uh, me and a buddy of mine were just talking, and uh, I think we've got a great idea. Um, let me run this by you. So, have you ever thought about? me. Um, I could just like totally see it. DT's Half-Assed Geek Show HD. DT? DT? First up, check out the art print. Not really an art print guy, but uh, anyways, pretty cool. Digging it. Okay, first up we have got his satchel with the pumpkin bombs, which is open. Kind of has a reddish uh, hue to it, which is cool, that's fine. Like how the strap is extended out here, that looks like that could be a very easy break, but is intact with mine. Um, you can see the pumpkin bond up in there. One thing that I immediately picked up on this, I am not a fan of mixed media where it does not have to be, and in my opinion, this does not have to be. So. Um, 
to me XM could have easily hidden the uh, strap under his uh, whatever you call it, the top part of the cloak there had a portion of the strap running up under that and then a portion coming out the other side and you know something like this could it, I don't know just not a fan of mixed media and a statue it's a statue so cool paint job very layered you have uh, with C three colors going maybe four colors going on here they have a very dark green probably three colors then they have a Kelly green I guess you would say and then they have a highlight green that they hit very nicely done on the uh, layering of that and the uh, scale mail armor is pretty cool because they put these uh, gold stripes right down the middle of it and a unique color to those so uh, kind of metallic sheen to them very cool there I dig that we've got his little battering hands purple gloves dark dark almost black to purple there love the uh, tattering tear look of the outside uh, semi-metallic on the uh, throwing stars extended left arm so this would be the one like if he didn't have anything in it the mask or whatever this is the glider head nicely done it has like a speckling in the paint the pumpkin bomb hand it would appear yes there's a little something going above the teeth here like a line there but I'm guessing well now I see it from here piece of the wood nicely done XM always does high quality lumber this is going to be mask unmasked excuse me where he's holding the mask in his hand they nicely padded that there so that the little tail of the mask didn't break where he's gripping it there I'd say that's fairly nicely done um, I'm not going to display with this. I don't like the mask portrait as much as uh, the mask, but uh, not bad. Not picking up too much of red in his hair, which, you know, to me, Osborne always appeared to have auburn hair. This is just brown hair. So don't care for that as much. Um, also, I think the hair should be a touch taller, thicker, you know, for what my mental image of him is. And I would say that I have a slight eye alignment problem. Yeah, definitely. He's a little bit out. Uh, it's not horrible, you see. It took me a second to see it, but uh, yeah, the eyes are not perfectly aligned. The pumpkin bomb smoke. Actually, it looks pretty good actually I like the uh, way that they went orange into the white into the gray so uh, that is actually fairly well done I'm usually not a fan of smoke or fire uh, painted too much it's very difficult to paint and I would say that's pretty well done okay and that is down to the goblin head sculpt And hoping he's not cross-eyed, which I've seen in some photos. I think it may be the angle of photo that gives that uh, to where it looks like his right eye is in. I think it's just the angle of the photo because whenever you look straight onto it, they're straight. I think it's uh, kind of almost, I mean, no, it looks good there also. So anyway, big thumbs up there. Uh, excellent paint. That looks exceptional. Same green stitching. Big thumbs up. Excellent. The base. First thoughts. Uh, 
bricks are a touch pinkish looking, which is a little odd. Uh, this is a little different than they usually paint their bricks. Um, don't know if I love that color choice there. They're not a brick color, they're very uh, pink. Okay, one thing I was concerned about is I saw this look very, um, like a popsicle. <laughs> very, very stark here, and it doesn't look that bad in person. It might be one of those things that just photographs really, really uh, bright, but this blends a little bit better in person than it did in the photographs that I saw. I thought it was too distinct of lines there, so the metallic on the uh, glider is cool. Not a fan in general whenever they do the spider webbing. It usually looks plastic, but this is actually not too bad. It's the best that I've seen as far as I'm not like, ugh. And I thought that was going to be one of my criticisms of the piece. I had uh, expressed concern before. Uh, like the scoring here where uh, it almost looks like Wolverine's claws here, but where like it has some battle damage there. Uh, very cool. Web's not too bad. About as best you could do there. Really nice here. This looks very metallic, very much uh, like the chrome, uh, like a piston uh, part would be there. So uh, that's well done. Kind of odd with the shrink wrap here though. Wonder if that was almost meant to be heated up. I'm gonna take and hit that with the heat gun and uh, get that to bond a little closer. I think it'll look better than how it's loose here. Got some intricate parts here, the kind of stirrup looking of the, uh, what do you even call it, the strap ends where you put his feet. Those look pretty cool. They went with a reddish hue in the uh, leather, which is actually kind of cool. Uh, same paint as the rest of it that I've already commented on. So, like, if you can pull off the strap right here, then it seems to me that you could pull this off here. You molded it here, you molded it here. Mold this up under here and then have this part, even if it's in two sections, have this buckle here where the joint, where the seam is, and then seam it here again if need be. Anyway, and then have it wrap around the back side here. If that's plugged in there, you could have just a little piece right there. To me, there's no reason to do the mixed media. Just not a fan of it at all. It's not a deal breaker on this piece because I love Green Goblin so much, but uh, do not like that, but uh, anyway, belt looks awesome. We'll talk more about that in paint and sculpt, but uh, everything arrived intact. Really impressed with 99% uh, of what I see, 98% of what I see. So uh, let's assemble this bad boy. That is a strong magnet. Okay, one thing that really concerned me was is, okay, what's this going to be like with this sitting on top of it? Is it going to be st stable, especially after the Deadpool deal? Uh, this is solid. This is well constructed here. There is zero wobble in this, so major thumbs up here. Uh, for all the concerns of Deadpool, I have zero here. Uh, that is extremely well engineered, so. Okay. I so dislike the uh, mixed media that I'm hiding it up under this. I don't want this going across here, so I actually like the looks of this under. So of course we have the uh, Norman Osborn um, portrait here, and uh, with the mask and his little uh, throwing knives, throwing uh, boomerang. I want to say batarang, but goblin orang uh, there, but. Uh, that helps hide this a little bit. Uh, 
only thumbs down to, to date is really this strap. Don't like it. You know, this could have been molded in right there, as I said. And the last addition is the little mouse in the sewer pipe. I love that detail. So let's check out the mask version, which is hands down my favorite. And there we have him. My favorite Spider-Man villain, Green Goblin. Outstanding. Moving on to the review. Well, I have very few criticisms of this piece, but there are a few. And actually, I was a little skeptical going into it and had expressed that no, there's some things I'm just not sure about it. And one of them I dislike, mixed media. Thumbs down. Um, other than that, there's no real major hiccup. I thought I was not gonna really, really dislike this because I don't like the plasticky looking uh, spider webs. But the way that this is done and painted and it's not a plastic add-on look, actually works. The concept of it is excellent. Uh, like the fact that it looks like he's mowing down this wall here and um, you know, everything's well done. I was a little bit eh on the glider, but uh, it actually looks pretty cool. Um, I like the practical look of it, like this would all close in almost to his first appearance on that broomstick. You know, it almost looks like all this would practically collapse down to something that was portable um, in his minivan, you know. But <laughs> anyway, very, uh, the engineering to it looks right, and it looks like he's on a big turbine. Uh, you got this, uh, burn effect here. I think it could have been done a little bit better, but not don't have the reservations or the strike that I thought I might have with that. Smoke, I'm usually eh on. This is very well done. Uh, engineering to it is super solid. Um, he is sturdy as any piece that I have. Uh, these feel exceptional. As a matter of fact, I almost would say that they're metal. I'm pretty sure that they are for the uh, the gloss to it and that the magnets are outstanding some of the best that i've ever seen they're actually difficult to get out so uh one strike is all the stinking uh styrofoam pieces goodness um engineering outstanding uh paint job overall on goblin himself a plus plus this head sculpt is fantastic uh absolutely captures in my head what I think Green Goblin is. I had the sideshow and uh, this thing blows it away. Uh, sorry, it does. Pose, everything about it. Paint on, the glider is awesome. Do have to say I think the shrink wrap got by quality control. Um, I'm going to attempt that and I will show it in the video if it worked, but I guarantee you that that will buckle down and tighten up to it and look the way that they intended it. Only two major criticisms. Don't like the mis mixed media. Don't like the paint on the bricks. Other than that, this is an 11 out of 10. Outstanding piece, love it. What, as I said previously, my favorite villain against Spidey. I mean, it's just iconic from my childhood. Imagine this will probably look extremely uh, well with the uh, Sideshow uh, OG uh, Spider-Man, especially since he has the pumpkin bombs in the base. But uh, maybe I'll get a shot of that before we get out of here, put it in my case. But uh, anyway, big, big thumbs up. Really appreciate you watching. Please smash that like, sub, and notification bell. And uh, we did reach our 1250 uh, subs. So I have the giveaway video already filmed. I'm not sure if that will release before or after this. But um, anyways, if you're not doing it half-assed, you ain't doing it right. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time.